Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. So it's Sunday, March the 12th, and it's about 11 o'clock, about 11.15, and it's snowing here. Um, I had heard little rumors that it was going to snow, and I'm like, no. You know, I looked at the weather this morning, it was 36 degrees in the town where I live. I was like, Psh, it is not going to, it's not cold enough to snow. Y'all, it's snowing. And um, so we didn't have church today because of the um, weather. We didn't want people out on the roads and that kind of thing. Um, so they canceled services. Um, and I was like, okay, what can the kids and I do? So already this morning we've been up. We have um, gotten some laundry going. We have put up some clothes. I've got my sheets going now in the, um, in the, in the dryer. I, I kind of follow the fly lady a little bit. I'm, I'm pretty tidy around my house, but I do like some of her uh, routines. But she does like her weekly house blessing on Monday. And of course, I'm working on Monday, so I can't wash my sheets on Monday. It's either a Saturday or a Sunday deal for me. But um, So I've got the sheets going. We, um, we got the puppy outside. She really is not loving the snow, so she's kind of real hesitant about going out. Um, it's kind of hilarious when it was just raining this morning we had to get the umbrella she would not go out without the umbrella we did that and um, I had the kids vacuum in the floor and we got this um, bagless vacuum and it was not I just realized it was not picking up you know what it should be picking up and I'm like let me take this vacuum apart well I realized that on Friday but right when I was getting ready to take it apart some of the folks that come over for family share night were ringing the doorbell. And I did not have any time to, to um, look at it then. Yesterday I worked in the morning, was busy all day. And so today, because we were home and we were vacuuming, and I just realized that it was not um, picking up in this particular, on the area rug that I bought. I was like, something's wrong. Um, I'll try to insert a picture here of what my living room looks like. I don't know if I showed you guys since I added in a few pieces. But I'll try to add in a picture of my living room. So anyway, I told my son, I said, well, bring me the vacuum. Let me take it off. So I took the canister part off. And I'm just kind of poking around in there. And there's this little hole that goes from the vacuum hose into the canister. Full, 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 full. Uh, we have had carpet shreddage or carpet. You know when you get new carpet and the carpet just kind of sheds? We've had that the whole time we've been in this house. It's been about a year. And um, so it was there. And then I said, well, let me look in the back of the canister. So y'all... When I tell you the amount, and I'd already cleaned this out, but there was, I mean, a small cat size probably of lint and dirt, I'm sure dog hair, debris, and all this gross yuckiness. Well, then I said, well, let me look at the hose to see if, so I got all that. I mean, I'm just digging and I need a wire coat hanger in this house and I don't have one. So I'm digging and getting all this stuff. I mean, not for the people. Um, so then I said, well, let me look in the hose. So I detached the hose from the vacuum cleaner and I'm looking down in there and I can't see anything. But I noticed at the point where the canister connects to the vacuum, there's, I mean, I stuck my finger in there and there's some a blockage in there. So I tell my son, I said, go in your room because I, I do, do not have a wire clothes hanger in this house. I said, go look in your room. Excuse me, y'all, cooking my breakfast. It's 11.15 and I'm cooking breakfast, right? The kids have eaten, by the way. So I said, go in your room and get your bow staff. Now, for Taekwondo, they have these. I hope his master, master's not listening. <laughs> but it's this really long um, uh, staff that they use for their training. So I take this bow and I stick it down this tubing and I'm just sticking, 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 and all of this yuckiness comes out. Ugh. Anyway, we ended up getting everything out. We cleaned out the inside of the canister. We got everything out of the inside of the vacuum. So prayerfully, um, 
it's working right now. So anyway, I just wanted to bring you along as I was kind of doing stuff around the house. I, don't, I haven't done too many of the day in the lives, but hey, this is a day in the life, right? So this is what we're doing. The kids have eaten. They have already taken the puppy out. And I'm going to take you counter level and let you see what I'm working on for my breakfast. It's kind of breakfasty, lunchy, brunch because I'm starving. I haven't had any um, any food today. And so this is just what I'm, what I'm cooking. So I've got going in my fry pan. I have one of the alfresco chicken sausage that I, it's a sick chicken sausage patty, but I cut it in half just to make it stretch a little bit farther. So I've just been browning that in my fry pan. I only added just a little bit of the canola oil there. Um, yesterday, and I'm gonna try to get this video up for you really quickly. Yesterday, I did a Mississippi pork butt steak. And that's where I just had some butt steak and I put in the brown gravy mix and I also put in the um, ranch dressing mix, but I added in the pepperoncinis. I did just some sweet peppers that I had in the fridge that needed to be used. I also did um, some onions and some carrots and it was so good. But this is all we had left. I mean, clearly not even enough for lunch and dinner. So it's really just gonna be lunch. I just put it in this pan or this pot to come up to heat. That's ready to go. I have been, um, the last couple of, well, last week I've been eating just whole eggs because of the egg muffins that I made ahead. But I'm gonna just have um, egg whites this morning. I'm not gonna do the full egg because I don't want the points. I'm really trying to stick to within my Weight Watcher points this week. So I'm just gonna do three egg whites. That's gonna be one smart point. I am actually gonna also have a couple, two slices of the alfresco chicken bacon, which is um, zero smart points for two slices. So I'm just gonna put that in there to bring that up to heat as well. I got my coffee going this morning, y'all. You gotta have your coffee, that's all I'm saying. At least I gotta have my coffee. Coffee is life right now. So I'm feeling that in my spirit. Y'all, okay, so let me say this, right? So I bought the um, Sargento sliced provolone cheese because you can have three slices of that cheese for four smart points. So I'm um, getting myself ready for this meal, this deliciousness I'm about to put on this plate and there's no provolone cheese. I mean, I was so done. My daughter told me the other day I'm gonna toast up two pieces of the nature's own 40 calorie light bread. My daughter's like, so mom, um, you can just buy more of your food and we'll eat your food. They're already eating my food and I'm the one around here on Weight Watchers. Nobody got time for that. So anyway, um, needless to say, I'm not having provolone cheese on my sandwich this morning, but I do have some of the creamy mozzarella, sun-dried tomato, basil, laughing cow cheese. That is only one point. And, and, this um, salsa con queso, I can have two tablespoons of this for two smart points. So I think I'm just going to have one, though. I'm not real sure. I'm torn between the laughing cow and the salsa con queso. Not sure. What's your fate? Do you have to choose what's your favorite cheese i love cheese cheese is my life okay so my bacon is good here zero smart points for two of the alfresco chicken sauce uh, chicken bacon pieces i would prefer regular bacon but we all know that's a lot of points so i'm not i'm turning my heat back up so i can do my eggs and i'm getting ready to get this meal started so i'm just doing three egg whites I'm gonna pop the egg, the yolks out. What do you need, lovely? You want a snack? Okay, I'm just doing a little bit of salt, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of the onion powder into my three egg whites. I cleaned off my stove last night using the Wyman's um, uh, flat top stove cleaner. Uh -oh. be 
because it just needed some TLC. So I did that last night or yesterday. And I also um, did the stainless appliances. Not that you could tell. So I've got my three egg whites going. Just a little salt. A little garlic powder. A little onion powder. That's all I'm adding on there. I'm going to go ahead and get my two pieces, two slices of bread. Toasting in the toaster. Okay, my toast is done. So I'm not doing butter. I, I kind of haven't done any oils, but I will put a little spray of the canola oil onto my bread just to give it a little something. I haven't done any butter. I haven't done any olive oil. I haven't done any um, coconut oil. No oils at all. And I'm just going to show you how I'm finishing up this sandwich. Jackson is making his sandwich as well. And then sister will probably be making something as well. All right, I'm just going to take my Laughing Cow cheese. And spread that over my bread. Forgive our lighting, y'all. I think the snow and just the overcastness of everything is just not the best for our day. So I've got that. I'm going to take my three eggs. I'm actually going to put my... and my bacon I'm kind of doing like an open face sandwich I've got two pieces of bread or two slices of the nature's own 40 calorie bread that's two smart points I've got one of the chicken patty sausages from alfresco that I cut in half that's two smart points so there's four smart points the two slices of the chicken bacon is zero smart points and the one um, wedge i've actually only used half a wedge of the um laughing cow cheese is one smart point so that's five points on this plate i'm going to take the three egg whites and just lay them across three egg whites is going to give me one smart point so i'm just laying that across there and now i'm going to take a cup I'm gonna do one cup of the Mississippi roast that I made from yesterday and this is just the veggies the onions the um, carrots the gravy mix and the ranch dressing got this really small spoon like that was going to do any good for anybody. The pepperoncinis, I put in a few extra peppers that I had just with the sweet peppers. They were not hot. Okay, so there we have one cup. That's probably too much to me. Mm -hmm. A half a cup probably will work. That's going to be a half a cup. I think I'm just going to go with a half. Half a cup, half a cup works out fine. And then I am going to have one tablespoon of the salsa con queso. Tablespoon and a little. So we're putting that in. There it is. This is my brunch since I did not have breakfast already. I do want to get all of that cheese out of there. My son was home this weekend, but um, he actually was supposed to play soccer today. They ended up canceling his game, so we, he went home. But anywho, this is my 
lunch that I'm having today. I've got the two pieces of Nature's Own Bread. I've got one, one of the alfresco chicken sausage. I've got two slices of the alfresco chicken bacon, three egg whites, a half a cup of the Mississippi pork roast or steak roast, and one-ish tablespoons of the salsa con queso and a half a wedge of laughing cow cheese. So this is what I'm having for lunch, brunch. Hope you're having a great brunch as well.